morning everyone um still a quick little video so i've been telling a few people about uh, my big cat sighting or black panther sighting if you will and it's quite unusual this because i'm literally half a mile out of hull and you know it's just unusual i know we have a lot of sightings in and around east yorkshire but to have something this close to a city you know other than tales of black panthers and big cats in london in the 80s you know i haven't really heard many they've all been right out in the country so like i say i've heard a lot of stories from east yorkshire but never anything this close to hull so this is basically the story of what happened right um about three years ago i'm walking my dog up this track and I had um, I had a CO2 BB gun with me and I was messing around with it while I was walking the dog and we got to about this point I don't know if you can see this but that that's a drain that's like a waterway a little river a little drain um, and at the other side of it about 30 yards away there was uh, there was a rabbit um, just sat at the side of a bush so you know knowing how bad accuracy is with co2 guns i knew there was no chance i would ever hit it so i shot about five meters away from the rabbit and the rabbit ran off and then all of a sudden the bush shook there and what looked like at first a big black like thin muscly dog like a lurcher a whippet a greyhound came running out and it ran along the hedge line and off down there now because i'd just been shooting i expected then to hear the dog owner shout oi what are you doing so i froze like i froze for about a minute and just stood there and nothing happened nobody shouted and then everything started falling into place in my head um like i realized hang on a minute N no dog walkers come into this field there's no there's no possible reason to be in this field at all nobody comes up here in the in the five six years i've been shooting at the other side of this drain i've never ever seen a person in them fields so nobody at all goes up there um and the more i started thinking about it the the it was like a big muscly dog but it was like thin like athletic cut up muscly but it was big and it had the typical you know black panther tail but unfortunately i only saw the back half of it as it was running away um but there's no doubt in my mind what i saw and, and I, I am i will swear blind on this i will take lie detectors that what i saw was a big cat it was the back end of a black panther there's no doubt about that and it makes a lot of sense because this field's infested with rabbits it's infested with pheasants um there's, there's pigeons and magpies and other small animals there's there's deer up in this field and if you actually watch one of my hunting blogs back from a couple of months ago i actually found a scattered a, a, a deer like a deer carcass but all that was left was was bones and it was all broken up and scattered around and i've got the skull at home um and the more i thought about it afterwards it kind of made sense and made me start to think you know i wonder if that had something to do with the big cat maybe you know because they do have big territories so i believe it could be roaming up here because the food source in this field is, is good actually I maybe should have had a look at the bones a bit better when I saw them, you know, to see if there were any scraping marks on them off the teeth. But that's my big cat story, and I have no doubt that they do exist. They are out there, and I've always got my eyes open in case I see it again, you know. But that's it. Thanks for watching.